Welcome back to Switch to Linux. This is not Switch to Linux. This might be a deep fake. Because even deep fakes are getting too real to be noticed that they're fakes. What? Well, it turns out that even AI researchers are scared of their own AI. And uh, in a recent article by Ars Technica, which we will get into in a moment, they are talking about how they were developing this AI to basically uh, write text and content and they're terrified of the thing, so they're actually holding back some of the information from the future releases. Yes, people, this is the world we are in, and it is a frightening world at that. So, from Ars Technica, researchers scared by their own work hold back deep fakes for text AI. So, deep fakes, of course, if you don't remember the whole deep fake controversy, this was, uh, it was, it, this is terrifying stuff because it gives you the basic ability to create a video that looks like a person saying something. So if you want to see, you know, the president declare some evil thing happening, you can make a deep fake to make him do it. Of course, it started in the mm, bad video industry. We'll leave it at that. Um, and uh, people putting their favorite actors in their videos um, maybe with them, I don't know. Um, but the deep fakes kind of became this, this difficult thing to spot. And then of course this, uh, Chinese news company came out and has literally a deep fake newscaster. Another company came out, which has, uh, I think it's like, it's, it might be linked in this article. Um, I think it's called something like, um, uh, I am not a person. Maybe it wasn't this article. Um, Basically, there's a site, it's something to the effect of IamNotAPerson.com or something like that, which is this endless generation of creating pictures of people that don't actually exist. It's kind of terrifying. Well, this is deep fake for writing content. It's all we need, AI to write our content. But the researchers are looking at this going, this is doing scary stuff. And so when they release the algorithms and the code for this, they are actually holding back part of it because AI is getting too sophisticated. And so OpenAI, a nonprofit research company investigating the path to safe artificial intelligence has developed a machine learning called Generative Pre-Trained Transformer 2, capable of generating text based on brief writing prompts. The result becomes so close to mimicking human writing, it could potentially be used to deep fake content built on 40 gigabytes of text retrieved from sources on the internet, uh, including sources like Reddit. Oh, great. When they start copying text from 4chan, the world is effectively going to be over. Just to let you guys know. Uh, this course, this ties right on in with an article we talked about um, the other day in the news where President Trump actually signed an executive order. All right, so Trump wanting the United States to not fall behind in AI technology pushed an executive order boosting infrastructure about AI. So in this, he wants to basically throw a lot of money and a lot of resources into AI tools to do a lot of things. This is actually a different article than I was thinking of. But uh, anyway, I think this is a, uh, yeah, this is a, a um, predecessor on the other one that I saw, which came out just a couple days after this. So President Trump launched his American AI initiative that directs federal agencies to prioritize investments in research and the development of AI. Initiative focuses federal government resources toward developing AI technology and ensuring that the next great AI inventions are made in the United States. He wants to have funding for it. He wants to encourage companies to create AI. He wants to encourage governments to incorporate AI and basically bring AI into the world. And then you get things like this where the researchers developing the AI are kind of saying, this is so frightening that we need to hold some of this back because the models are too good. So we are now developing a framework by which we can develop and say, say this gets input into a machine like theoretically Skynet where it starts creating its own content 
becoming the relay in between. So the president is expecting a message coming from Russia, say. And really what the Russian government sends the president is, hey, we're going to get together. We are going to work together, and we're going to help solve some global crises and de-escalate issues. The computer sees that this is bad for itself, and it retranslates and rewrites the AI, taking the model of the Russian leader, retranslates it into a message of hate toward the president, and issues a war. That is the type of stuff that could happen in this type of scenario. So we have to be very, very careful with this type of thing. But this is the world we're moving into. So this development research team who is developing this system is holding back part of the code because it's too advanced. Guys, we need to prepare for the technological doom day because it's coming. It really is. The AI is getting too sophisticated. It's getting too smart. And it's getting to the point where we can't even rely on real evidence that used to exist. What did somebody say in a video? What did somebody say in text? What did somebody say in a book? Because now the computers can generate things which seem to come from us, which may or may not have come from us. Take this into a culture like the legacy media that does not want to verify resources. They just want to be the first to the game with their tweets. And then now it becomes part of a record and to not, to not need to save face. They don't want to have to go back and correct themselves. These are problematic things, problematic parts for our society. And I'm not a Luddite. Okay. I don't think that we want to cast off all technology, but I'm also not a guy that says, Hey, new technology, let's use it because there's equally wrong issues on both sides of those coins. We need to examine the technology and make good, positive and logical steps into what can be done with this technology. This is stuff to be cautious with. This is stuff to be careful with. We have to be aware of what's coming down the pipeline and have the cognate cognition to say, okay, this is a good tech, let's adopt it. And this is a bad tech, let's not adopt it. Otherwise we end up with technology and smart speakers that know more about us than we know about ourselves. Devices like the Nest thermostat, which came out this week to actually have microphones in it, even though it's not in the parts list and it may or may not actually be active, but still those little Nest thermostats, they have microphones in them. We are intentionally and cognitionally spending our own money to bug our own lives perpetually and handing that data over to these companies because we're failing to read the terms of service. And the AI is getting smart enough to predict what we can do and make things worse for us. We don't need to be a Luddite, but we do need to be cognizant about the technologies we allow into our life. So think about those things. What do you think in the comments down below? Thank you for making it to the end of this Switch to Linux video. You can have a look at another video right on over here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel or to Think Life Media, which is my own personal support page. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.